Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first, the second book of Moses called Exodus, chapter 5. And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews hath met with us. Let us go, we pray thee. Three days journey into the desert, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto your burdens? And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick, as heretofore let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks which they did make heretofore Ye shall lay upon them, ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let, uh, let their more work be laid upon the men, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where ye can find it, yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout the la all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick, both yesterday and today, as heretofore? Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? There is no straw given unto thy servants, and they say to us, Make brick, and behold, thy servants are beaten, but the fault is in thine own people. Go therefore now, and work, for there shall no straw be given you, yet ye shall deliver the tale of bricks. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case, after it was said, Ye shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task. And they met Moses and Aaron, who stood in the way, as they came forth from Pharaoh. And they said unto them, The Lord look upon you and judge, because ye have made our savour to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh, in the eyes of his servants, to put a sword in their hand to slay us. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Lord, wherefore hast thou so evil entreated this people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he hath done evil to this people. Neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. So first and foremost, from the title of this video, you already know the iconic line, one of the most legendary lines of the Bible. Thus saith the Lord God, after, and afterward, and, and this is in Exodus 5.1, and afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And of course, Pharaoh says, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And by the end of the chapter, Moses speaks unto the Lord and says, For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he hath done evil to this people, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. And one thing that uh, us evangelicals will love about this chapter, Exodus uh, chapter 5, Uh, so now the relationship between the officers and the taskmasters and Pharaoh and the officers of the children of Israel which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them were beaten and demanded wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick both yesterday and today as heretofore then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh saying wherefore dealest thou us thou thus with thy servants there is no straw given unto thy servants and they say to us make brick and behold thy servants are beaten 
but the fault is in thine own people. Amazing. Amazing. So that, of course, the chapter ends with Moses returning to Aaron, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. And as you can firstly, first of as I now, I now, I transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diet video. All right. So since uh, yesterday's daily diet video, I created one Squadron TD video. I created seven Call of Duty Vanguard videos. I worked out my core. I uploaded and scheduled my core workout video. I uploaded and scheduled squ uh, my Squadron TD video. I uploaded and scheduled the seven Call of Duty Vanguard videos. I created two more Squadron TD videos. I worked my software developer job. Then I've created two more Squadron TD videos. I created four Call of Duty Vanguard videos. Then I created three more uh, Squadron TD videos. And now I've created this video here. And uh, I will, of, of course, continue on that work tomorrow. As you see from the background of this video, I am, today is my last uh, night in this apartment. And tomorrow will be my last day and I'll be moving out. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds. As usual, I'm optimistic, I'm positive. I've given everything I have since I moved in here. <laughs> it's been an absolutely amazing time. And that's the biggest thing I've learned about life, as I discussed in the Gospel according to Lord and Aaron White, Chapter 13, is hard work and maximizing one's potential is the only way to avoid regret. And that's exactly why um, that's... Uh, that's why I'm in the position I'm in now, you know. I don't always get every answer right. I don't, you know, I don't know the capital of every city in the world, you know. I don't know what the, you know, how many species live on the North Pole. But what I do know is that by seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything I need will be added unto me. It's been an amazing time in this apartment here. Um, I know I'm grateful to everybody um, who, who helped me in my journey thus far. I don't want to name anyone specifically. I just know I'm grateful um, because I haven't done everything, you know, completely by myself either uh, in the sense that um, God is there first and foremost. And second, and secondly, uh, you know, well, first and foremost, I have to work. And then God is there, and of course, any other help I can get as well. I know that I gratefully um, accept that help, and um, I've done the absolute best I can with it. Moving forward, so I'm again even keel about moving into a new apartment. I'm going to continue the the videos in earnest, um, but more than that, I'm going to continue my work, uh, my prayer, and my sleep. Um, I've been working out now for five months and continuing to manifest my body as the line of God. I'm, I'm working my software developer job. I'm continuing to preach and uh, to write and preach the gospel of naranjalism here on this YouTube channel. Um, and I'm doing the best I can. And because of that fact, uh, I have no regrets. And as the scripture states from Lord Jesus Christ in John 14, 16, I will be here forever. And I hold to that scripture because, again, as I've discussed many times, Matthew sixteen twenty five, He who shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and he who shall lose his life for Christ's sake shall find it. And that's what I've done. I found my life with Jesus Christ as Lord Naren White, the Holy Spirit of God. And it's been everything and more. It's been the best time in my life because my character has never been stronger. My health has never been stronger. And that's all you can ask for because my, my adherence to God's will has never been stronger. I, I cling to Lord Jesus. I cling to the Heavenly Father. And they keep me on the right path. And I'll be moving forward every day um, for the kingdom of God and His glory. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care and thanks again.